Okay, this is a continuation of my tutorial on connecting a Nokia 1680 via USB. As you can see down the bottom, I have the Nokia PC suite. It's saying it's connected to my 1680. I'll just show you on the settings how you connect your 1680 quickly. You can go under settings, manage connections. You see on this that it's got the USB cable ticks, but you don't actually need that ticks. Take that off. So settings, manage connections, seal cable. It will come up with the COM ports. I have to select mine to COM3 for it to pick up the actual uh, phone. Move that down so you can see that. So you just tick the serial CA42 box. Okay. Before you're syncing, you've got to make sure your phone's at full battery. Because if it's not a full battery, it doesn't want to know basically, it won't pick it up. For some reason or other. And on this you've got backup, you can back up everything from your phone onto your PC. Synchronize, that's just for connecting your phone. Connect to internet. Connect to p PC to the internet using your phone. I, I don't really know why you really want to do that when you've got, <laughs> got your internet on your PC anyway. Uh, messages, create and send multimedia messages. Contacts, file manager, transfer music, store. Store images, transfer videos, download maps. Update phone software, there's no need to do that to be honest. And on there, you can add uh, your own games. What I mostly do is I go on the file manager and it's just simply going in gallery, music files, they're the ones I've uh, already transferred across, and Here's the folder I transfer them across to. You could just literally just drag them across to your phone. I usually just right click, copy, and then go right click, paste. So you could just paste it straight on there. Uh, I'll show you what it does when you do that. An example of that. I'll rename one of these so it doesn't. Right, so it's just copy. Next. You see your load of cross copying. You just take a bit of time. And while it's doing that, I'll show you the Audacity program I use to edit my my MP3 files. If you've got a WMA file, there's plenty of free WMA to MP3 file converters online. So don't worry if you've got a WMA because you can get one for free online and just just encode it to 128 kilobits. MP3, and you won't lose uh, too much quality. Uh, so, say so you found Audacity from Google, say so you got the beta, and you've started it up using your shortcut. You just go to File, Open, Open whichever file you're editing. You can see, turn my swag on. And you see, it'll, it'll play the music. Just let me know that's trying to cross. Say I didn't want all the all the track. I'll just say let's say uh, I want the first thirty seconds right. I'll just click there and I'll drag across. Make sure your music starts before you can press delete and remove the section for you. So say I, I left all that, I can just go and save that as an export as an mp3 and if you don't want to have a massive file just go on to the preferences, file formats and down the bottom there you can see your bitrate for your mp3. So bitrate at the moment is 64 which I think for 
phone external speakers perfectly fine quality I won't go on the 64 though usually people go to 128 you can go to 128 if you want if you don't want to lose any quality but just for a ringtone I think 64 is more than enough and I mean you've got like what like 15 megabytes to store on off the top of my head it's probably better on 64 so you can fit more on okay so once you've got that you'll just go file export mp3 and you put it into whatever folder you want I've just made a temp work folder here let's call it that and we'll just go save you don't really have to bother about all these IT tags you can put it in if you want but it's it's not really necessary you know, just go and export it it's really quick well my, mine's on a quad core 2.5 gig quad core so it's, it's fast anyway uh, I've made that far just thought it'd be good to show you that you can see all the mp3 files on my phone that's my phone file 